silent when they load up. Remember that? Now they sit around and upload them. I swear. It's week one of the NFL, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Cowboys and the Giants on Sunday night. up for our first Sunday night of the year. The Cowboys and Giants underway in week one. Now Lewis selects to return it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a heck of a return as he goes out of bounds across the 50 inside the 45. It's tough enough to play defense anyway, but after a return like that, now your mindset has to change a little bit. Instead of going out and just getting settled in the first few plays, you have to be prepared for just about anything. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Boy, I tell you, the schedule makers got it right here in week one. A lot of great games today. And another Buffalo and the Jets right here in this very stadium tomorrow night. Won't that be fun? But of these two teams, Charles, Giants and Cowboys, which one do you think is the bigger threat to Philadelphia in the NFC East? As we start here right now, it's got to be Dallas. How explosive are they offensively? Extremely. And on the defensive side of the ball, they take it away from teams. But don't count out the Giants. Their defense, they get after you with a lot of pressure. If their quarterback continues to grow, look out. Pollard. Will score, touchdown Cowboys. So a good job there, Charles, taking advantage of the short field and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. Extra point splits the uprights and it's now a seven nothing game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Now Jones. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as they'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. So a change of possession here on the punt. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. So we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard 
Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing Jones. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Back to throw. Jones under pressure, and they got to him again. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Now the NFC's leading rusher season ago. Here's Saquon Barkley. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. On to punt, Jamie Gillen. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And take it right at the 35. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Five yards, now it's third and five. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, 50 yards. And the Cowboys are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 21 to nothing. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And that's all about recognition right there because he's got to go from pass rush mode to pursuit mode, what defensive line coaches like to call retracing. And he's able to retreat and make the tackle for just a short gain. This time they stay on the ground. And 
And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. From the 39, Jones. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now Jones, a final shot before break. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in our initial sudden. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to mind. Jones hit, and the ball's out. That's picked up by the Cowboys. And a tough turnover there, as now they will have it at the six-yard line, first and goal. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in, first and goal. They'll start by running the option to the right. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott being chased out left. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside... going to take off and run for yardage but what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move defenses want to try and keep body and they're going to get him they bring him down to the sack back at the 16 yard line the offense stays out there a big challenge here from this far back but they're going for it on fourth and goal now on fourth down here that pass knocked away and incomplete they can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt and the giants are going to get the football back the giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. He'll take it a few steps in front of the 50. Oh, he nearly broke that one. As it stands, though, a heck of a 36-yard run back. And this offense set up with a very short field. First and 10 inside the 20. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not totally privy to what went on with their offensive meetings, but Charles, something tells me that one wasn't in the plan. Yeah, when we had our production meeting, they didn't exactly share that with us, but I'm pretty sure that on the play sheet, the run backwards into your own end zone play was not written down. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving. He's got a man complete inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jake Ferguson, 71 yards. And the Cowboys are pouring it on. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Jones throwing to start the drive. He dumps it off to Barkley. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll make it second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And with that, they're down to one remaining here in the second half. On third down, Barkley. And he'll get this up to the four right about there, and that's about it. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. And he'll take it just outside the 40. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. A heck of a move. Man. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Able to slither by. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 60 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. Forced out to his left. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Prescott now out to his left. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Let's go back over Dak Prescott's career. Six rushing touchdowns in each of his first three years, but only one in each of the last two seasons. As a veteran, he's become much more judicious about when it's time to take the ball and go for the end zone.
Now the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive, four plays. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. His throw incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. He'll find Hodgins there, complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. He'll look to set up his blockers. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. They'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Throwing here, Prescott steps away to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Oh, he's been fun to watch in this one. He's made the correct reads all game long and helped stake his team a huge lead. Running, passing, he's made all the right decisions. But that wasn't the right read on that one. It falls incomplete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Prescott to throw it on the move to his left. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. To throw is Prescott. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a fun game for him so far, but I think he tried to do just a little too much that time. Give the defense a rare win on that snap. 
third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Here's Prescott. They'll roll him out right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, at this juncture, CD, you normally see teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, CD, I mean, simply put, if anyone around the league wasn't paying attention to them to start the season, they will be heading into week two. This has been an impressive week one performance. They certainly announced that they are ready to go, haven't they? They wanted to send a message out to the rest of the league. You better put your eyes on us. We may be someone you have to reckon with. Extra point right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And New York set to take the field. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. He's taken down, back in his own seven. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. Throwing on second and long, Jones. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. well. It just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Charles, when you look at the stat sheet, you realize that both sides of the ball were so dominant in this game. And on offense, not only did they score it, but they did it through the air as well as on the ground. Everything was working. And you know that the guys who scored the touchdown, who contributed that way to throw them or ran them, they're going to find our cameras and have a big grin for them. But I hope our cameras find that offensive line. How versatile were they? Move the ball on the ground, move people so they could run it, and then protected their passers so they could throw it. So for Dallas, you can't ask for a better start as they pitch a shutout here in the opener. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the Cardinals. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.